Hi, I'm back. As I say, literally every video because I don't have a consistent uploading schedule. Just as I hit record, I got a package um, delivered. So I know what it is. Um, it's a pair of shoes because I, I don't know if I've spoken about this already. I've got another job. So now I'm working as like a waitress. I've been working a fair bit, so I'm still, I've got two jobs at the moment. So these are a pair of shoes that I ordered because I currently have been wearing these to work, which are just like Target branded, like Converse knockoffs type thing. They're like Zane robe. They're pretty good. Like I do like them um, and they're comfortable, but they're only really comfortable for like short, like three, four hour shifts. Like the other day I worked like a really long shift, like a 10, 11 hour shift and um, I was dying by the end of it. I had blisters all over my feet. And just because they're so flat, like they're not, they don't have much support to them, you know? So I ordered these. I was gonna get sketches. I ordered these from Iconic, I think the Iconic website. Um, yeah, I was gonna get sketches, but I'm not really sure how I feel about them. And a lot of people at work said that just wearing like sneakers like Adidas, um, is quite good. I'll still probably wear those shoes um, for the days when I've got like just a short shift but these just feel like they'll be more suitable. So I've got these bad boys. Um, yeah they're just they have to be all black because of the place that I work at. Ooh, I like these. These are actually really nice and they don't look like too sneakery like I feel like I could wear them. Oh, these are nice. So just like for a comparison, like these are shoes I was wearing. So I'll be wearing them to work for my longer shifts and stuff now. Hopefully if they fit, let's hope they do. So let's do some makeup because I really need it. Got my iced coffee. That's literally a pint. I think this is a pint. I did just come out of the shower so my hair's wet, um, still trying to grow it out, got the back and side shave because I was sick of looking like I had a mullet, so now I'm just trying to grow out the top, so then when the top grows out I'll start to grow out the bottom. Bit of a life update, gonna kind of go through it quickly because there's been a lot that's happened in my life because I haven't filmed a video in probably about four or five months, so... Actually, that's a lie. Just before I even get into it, I have filmed heaps of videos and they just either haven't been good enough, I thought they were boring, I didn't feel like editing them, or I just didn't finish them or they weren't long enough to be actually posted as videos, if that makes sense. And also just with everything that's going on in the world, like, I just was feeling like, who cares about what I've got going on, you know? Not in like a, um, like, oh, boohoo, feel bad for me. It's just a bit like with the Black Lives Matter movement and coronavirus and all of this stuff that's going on. Like, I just really wanted to be supportive of all of those movements and do all that I can and donate and do all of that stuff, um, which I'm still continuing to do and everyone should be because the fight hasn't, like, it's still going. There's still so much that needs to be done. Don't stop with the donations and everything like that and making people really aware of it. But yeah, I just didn't feel like YouTube was really the place for me to be posting, oh, come hang out with me for a day while their black people are dying. You know, that was just my thoughts on the situation. Close to when I uploaded my last video, our family dog Murphy passed away. Um, we had to put him to sleep due to heaps of ongoing health problems. He wasn't eating. He was just really uncomfortable and the vets told us that that was like we didn't want him to be in pain not gonna talk about it because i'm gonna cry not good don't want to cry um yeah so he passed away which was a huge shock to our whole family like we knew he was old and he was getting getting there but it's just it's never fun um and then a few weeks passed we were all feeling a bit better about the situation like obviously not great but and i was like Guys, I've been in this fostering um, group. Like, I was approved for fostering and stuff. And I was like, our house was just quiet and we were just kind of missing the sound of, like, a little 
creature, I guess. Um, so I convinced my family to let me foster. So we got ourselves a staffy puppy. <laughs> I say puppy, he was three, but like he acted like a puppy. Um, his name was Silas. I'll insert some photos of him. If you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat and stuff, you would have seen him. Um, I was absolutely in love with him. We had him for about a little over two weeks, but he had some really, a few issues, like some really bad dog aggression. Like we could barely walk him because he really struggled with other dogs and like would snap at other dogs. And I just wasn't feeling comfortable like with an animal, especially because of how big and how strong he was. Like I didn't want to be responsible for like somebody else's dog being eaten, you know? I was speaking to the foster lady who's like the coordinator and she was like, we can't actually allow you to keep him anymore if he's doing that because she's like, we can't allow something to happen. So in the end, it wasn't really up to us and she came and collected him and he's actually gone to, I've ex I don't know if I've explained this before, but it's called Safe Pets, Safe Families. He actually has an owner um, his owner is just unable to care for him at the moment due to whatever reason, could be incarceration, could be domestic violence, like escaping domestic violence, or with his owner, he just, his owner didn't have appropriate housing, so he was living in a motel which didn't allow dogs, um, but his owner obviously wanted him. Um, he went to one of his owner's friend's houses, who supposedly knows how to handle aggressive dogs, I guess, I'm not really sure. We did love him, but he was just... He was a little bit unpredictable and yeah there was a lot going on in our house just due to us like working a lot and we're actually moving house in two weeks we bought a house um we won an auction so we're moving house in two weeks which is going to be my next video um probably because i think moving vlogs are really fun to watch and i'm so excited to move because i'm kind of over this house like we like it but we definitely needed to change. We will probably foster again. Probably um, a dog that doesn't have such aggression and isn't, like he had to be walked like three times a day and when he's a dog that doesn't like other dogs, like it was, it was very stressful. And when I'm trying to work two jobs and yeah, it was just a lot and I felt like I was letting him down by not giving him the care that he was, that he needed. So yeah, um, I did feel really bad and I felt like I let him down, but in the end, it wasn't really our decision. So, I also have a TikTok of him if you want to watch it. It's like really cute. Yeah, I'm in the car now. I am about to head out to this really nice cafe that I went to the other day with my sister and a few of my friends. I also forgot to tell you that like while I was not uploading, I turned 18. So now I'm like legal to do fun shit. I also got a tattoo, if you want to see that. Um, it says Indy. It's the name of um, my best mate who committed suicide. I was gonna throw up the peace signs then and I thought probably shouldn't do that. But I've just always wanted to go to a cafe or just out for dinner or just out for some food by myself. I've just never done it and like sat at a table and like just felt the vibes, you know? Because I've like gotten takeaway and stuff and sat in my car and eaten it. But like that just seems like a whole new experience to me. So I'm excited. I've brought this book with me. I ordered this book. It's called From My Soul to Yours by E. Russell. Um, I follow her on Instagram and I literally love all of her. Like she's like a poet. So I literally love all of her poems. I'm really excited to read it because I got it the other day. And I'm just gonna sit down at a cafe with a bowl of vegetables by myself, vlog a little bit, and read a book. Like, what more could you want? Yeah. Yeah. It's really busy and windy. And yeah. But it's fine. Food's good, so I'm happy. Yeah, sorry I didn't film much. It was really windy. There was a lot of people there. There was a lot going on. And there was this group of schoolgirls that decided to sit right behind me. And they were so rude, like, like not to me, but like in general, they were like complaining that their food wasn't coming quick enough. And like, 
first of all, can you not see how busy it is? And then they had these big glass bottles of water because um, that's what they sell water in. Like a big, like massive bottle. Um, they had like four of them and it fell off their table just as I was about to leave. Like I was literally packing up my bag and like there was a big gust of wind and it blew it off of their table and it smashed on the ground and like hit this old man and they didn't even apologize. They were just sitting there laughing and I was like, you could like everybody just stopped. Like the whole place went silent and everybody's just staring at them and they're just acting like it wasn't like, like I get that it wasn't, it wasn't their fault, but like at least apologize. Like you could have really hurt him. And they were just like all giggly and I was just like, I fucking hate you. <laughs> so that's also why I didn't feel like filming. But apart from that, I had a bit of a read of my book. Um, the food was delicious as usual. And I got this drink, which is just a, like, it's like their sodas. And I got a lime one because I got guava last time and it tastes exactly like cruises. Yeah, I'm gonna head home and yeah, I'll see you when I get home. If you could see what I'm looking at right now, can you see it? There's a butterfly and it's really a fan of my windscreen for some reason. Don't really know why. I literally thought that was inside my car. Wait, is it inside my car? No, okay. <laughs> what does it want with me? Okay. Right, there's been a slight change of plans. Um, I said I was gonna go home, but I remembered on the way to um, the cafe, um, and the other week I saw that there's this like field of horses and there's so many of them and they're right next to a river or I think it's the ocean I don't really know I think it's like an inlet um and I really really wanted to go the other day but my sister and I had something to do the other day so we couldn't go but I've just fucking found it again when I say found it I mean I literally had to get in almost like seven car accidents um and chuck about 24 u-turns to actually get here but we're here and I'll show you when I get out of the car. This is where I am. Yeah, but look how cute. And it goes all the way along there. So these horses have like the biggest area ever. I am literally in heaven. Oh my God, they're so fucking cute. Oh, I was gonna say, I think the fence is electric, but old mate doesn't fucking care. Look how cute. Oh my God, this little one just came over to me. I think he's just teasing me because he actually just wants to eat some grass. Can I pet you? I have a feeling this is electric. I want to pet you. You are so cute. And you have some pretty nice grass, so I can't really offer you much. Can I can I stroke you? I'm gonna stroke you. Not that you can really feel that, but you know. It's the thought, isn't it? Hello! Hi. Can I pet you? Oh my god, you're so fucking cute. And you're so little. Oh my god, I literally love horses so much. Oh, I don't know if you can see, but all the way over there. She's like enticing them. How's she doing that? Oh, she's pulling them grass. Shall I pull you some grass? Do some grass? It's cleaner than yours. Oh, do you want it? I mean, I'm not going to eat it, so... Oh, big boy's coming over. They're just not interested. They're just really vibing without me. I want to go off with the big boy, but he's a little bit scary. I'll put it there for you, if you want it. Um, because... <sighs> I'm thinking you're not a fan of me. But yeah, nice to meet you. And Louise, by the way. Didn't, didn't, didn't quite catch your name, but that's okay. I just got home and mum and I are currently going through the garage because we've got boxes in the garage that we literally put in there when we moved here. And that was like, how long have we lived here? 18 months ago. 18 months ago. So it's like, what is it? Like memorabilia, like that, like import, right? I don't know. But like, we haven't touched it for 18 months or thought about it. So technically the stuff that's in there should just go. In the, like, we should just donate it. So, that's what we're doing. We're bringing the boxes out and then we're gonna go through them. <gasps> that's mine. You made that look a lot heavier. Oh, it is actually quite heavy. <laughs> You're over there? Yeah. Mate, stop at that. So, I'm 
pretty sure this is my one box out of everything. I thought I had more than this, but it's all practically Lucy's. She's a bit of a hoarder, so she's got a lot of shit that she just doesn't get rid of. And I'm pretty sure this is mainly just teddy bears. Um, I donated most of my... Oh, no, it's not as exciting things in here. I donated most of my teddy bears when we moved um, house, but I kept, like, the kind of important ones. So, yeah, but I donated, like... I'd say like 50 of them. We had shit tons. So. so this is, I mean, they're all just teddy bears. I'm not going to explain them because I'll be here for ages. So this is a polar bear. This is a Mickey Mouse. This is a little dog. Um, this is another dog. They all go together. I have another one as well. This one too. All these dogs go together. Um, I don't know why I thought they kind of meant something to me because they were given to me by different people. So. Um, this is something that I think I got when I was born, maybe, it like rattles. Um, this is a tear. Is this mine or is this Lucy's? Yours. Oh, yeah, I got a tear, apparently. Um, this little Winnie the Pooh, which it has a little twisty thing, and if you twist it, it's supposed to sing, but it's broken. But I mean, we keep her anyway, kids. It's, it's kind of cute. This was like one of my first teddy bears from when I was little. Um, bet you won't be able to guess its name. It's called Brown Teddy Bear Ribbon. <laughs> I don't, I think Lucy named it. I could be wrong. Um, okay, that's all of the teddy bears. There's this thing, which I think one of our grandparents got us. Oh God, it's really creepy. I don't know if you can see it. Like, it's got eyes, and when you lay it back, its eyes close. It's definitely cursed. Do I have to keep this? No. Okay, cool, because it's, it's a bit scary. We've got a recorder, which isn't actually mine, but who remembers these? The worst things in the world. <laughs> Does that trigger you? Mm. <laughs> I'm going to play it in my nostril. Oh wait, this isn't mine. <laughs> so it's Lucy's. Um, oh, I've got this. Which is cool. It's like a tapestry. Every white girl ever has had this. You, If you say you haven't, you're lying. Or you at least wanted one. Um, I used to have it on my wall. I mean, it's cute, but like, I don't think I'm that bitch. I have no hair and I have a septum piercing. I don't really think tapestries fall into that. Unless, actually, I kind of want to get another one, but like a darker one. Because this is probably the most basic one you can get. But then I do kind of, <laughs> kind of like it. So like, take it to the beach and stuff. And to lay on. But like, I can't really say I go to the beach often. Hmm. We'll probably say that's a maybe for that one. So, got some books from when I was in kindergarten. Not gonna go through them because it's a bit creepy. There's like only so much you should know about me, you know. An empty picture frame. Do you know what used to be in here? Picture of me and my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> oh wait, maybe it's not. I smashed one of them. Whoa, XDT. Um, I've got this. Well, I really used to be the most basic person in the world, didn't I? This little arrow thing that lights up. Can't get more basic than that, really. A tapestry and a light up arrow. My room was like Tumblr, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And pretty much everything else in this box is trophies, like participation awards, you know? So they're not really. You, I remember in basketball, you literally just get, um, oh, and netball, you literally get trophies just for playing. Yeah, nothing actually exciting, like, nothing like MVP or anything, because, to be fair, I was a bit shit. <laughs> so, I did a self-defense class, um, in year, oh, I was in high school, so probably like year nine, and we got to break these, um, and the self-defense guy, we had like a bit of a, 
we had a relationship. Like, not like that, but <laughs> he was really nice. Because he used me for one of the examples of like when a guy's on top of you and like how to get them off. And I freaked out and I ran out of the class crying and he felt so bad for me. <laughs> and then I think he felt bad ever since then. So everybody broke their boards, like most people could do it. And then he's like, oh, I've got these like bigger boards that are more, like they've got different grain in them. They've got like double grain, so they're harder to break. And he was like, oh, I reckon I can choose one person to do it. And he was like, oh, Louise, I reckon you could do it. And I was like, oh, you just feel bad for me, old mate, but thanks. Um, so it was this one and I broke it and yeah, I don't know if it is actually any harder to break than the other ones. Um, I don't actually know if there was any difference, but it made me feel better. So, yes, that's cool. So that's practically it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, yeah, and get keen for the moving vlog because I think that's going to be fun. See you in the next one, hopefully.